everybody, and welcome to the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm, Dave Winder with you. We're looking forward, forward to two big games this week, and coach will be talking about those as we go forward. But let's show you what's going on with the racers this week. On Thursday night, it's the OVC opener as a, a very good Southeast Missouri State team comes into the CFSB Center, and we'll tip it off at 7 o'clock. That'll be on the OVC Digital Network. And then on Sunday, a rare Sunday home game for the racers as they take on UT Martin at 2 o'clock here at the arena. And that one will be televised by the CBS Sports Network. And we'll show you the, the rest of the schedule even a couple of weeks from now, just kind of taking a look uh, forward at, at some games. But first, visit with head coach Steve Prohm. Uh, the racers got back late last night on a Sunday night from Dayton after a 72-51 defeat against the Flyers and coach you know early on in that game uh, we saw some good things but again it's uh, being able to sustain that for 40 minutes. Yeah well, you know I've watched the game watched it last night on the bus ride home and then I watched it uh, had a DVR at my house so I watched the first half again when I got back uh, to the house and you know 16 minutes of the first half you know led or were tied and we're, mm -hmm. and we're right there and similar to Valpo didn't close the half the right way and uh, ended up going in down eight and then second half got it to six got it to five mm -hmm. uh, stayed around hovered around eight for a long time and then the last four minutes again it went from 11 to 18 and it wasn't a 20 point game if you watch the game it was an eight to ten point game mm -hmm. uh, if not closer you know throughout the through, if, uh, game you know and the last couple minutes we, we let our composure I got a technical I was frustrated, but but watching the tape, the guy traveled over there on the sideline, mm -hmm. and, and it wasn't called. And I guess I got out of the box, is what they told me. Well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, roll some of the uh, the tape from uh, Dayton. It was a Sunday afternoon game at UD Arena, and we appreciate our. our friends from Fox Sports Ohio for uh, letting us have some of the highlights of the game but you know what I tell you what coach the way you, the, the team started and the way it's it's gone through these first 12 games I'm seeing a lot of good spurts here and there and uh, those are the things you, you you see that and you just go wow that's a great start against a team that was uh, that was ranked just a couple of weeks ago and so you are doing some good things here yeah, and there. Dayton's good I mean mm -hmm. you don't beat Gonzaga you don't beat California the way they beat California right. Uh, lost to Baylor at the buzzer, uh, and then they've had some other good quality wins. You, you don't do that if you're not good. And, and we went into a great environment yesterday, sell out crowd, 12, 13,000 people. And you look how we started the game again, great start, uh, up opportunities. There's a, it's, we're up 18, 14. We miss a layup, and we miss a wide open three. And those are the plays you have to make to go up seven, go up eight, instead of keeping it at four. So when they make their little run, you're not right. tied or down to, you're still maybe up to, or you're up three or four. And, um, you know, we come out of the second half, and again, it's, you know, execution, we execute well, we get a layup to start the second half, we get a layup to start the first half. Uh, you know, I guess I, I got to do a better job of maintaining focus and, and doing a better job within the last 10 minutes of each half because, that's where we've struggled and, and it's frustrating but you know we've got to get better yeah I, I know you you continue to uh, dissect uh, and and take a look look at those key moments in the game uh, but you know what coach I go back to uh, I think the team's better than it was a month ago and I, I, I still believe you're going to be a lot better a month from now but we're getting ready to start conference play and you need to be good right now too <laughs> well, you got to be really good right yeah. now. Uh, you want to be playing, starting to play really good basketball right now as you go into January and then and then, then turn it up another notch mm -hmm. as you go into February and March. But it's on now. Um, you know, I, we haven't made excuses for where we are right now. Right. We're, we're not where we need to be by any stretch of the imagination. But now it's conference play. We've got two big home games this week that, you know, not overlooking to the next game. But, you know, both games are huge starting with SEMO uh, uh, Thursday uh, night. On Thursday night. They are really, really good. They're yeah. talented. Jarekis Bradley, I think he's got a chance to be a, a player of the year in this league. Mm -hmm. uh, terrific. They got another freshman, Cleveland, uh, that's that's terrific. And Tyler Stone, the preseason player of the year. So, and then nuts uh, at the yeah, point, yeah. three to one assist to turnover ratio. So yep. they're playing really well, and it's going to be a big challenge on the defensive end for us. Well, we kind of uh, you saw the last part of uh, the highlights there. The Racers did cut it to six uh, with 14 minutes to go, but then the game got out of hand late. It prob probably shouldn't have been uh, that 
that big a margin of victory, but uh, that's just kind of the way it turned out. The racers uh, fell at Dayton 72-51. You see some of the, the stats from the game there. And uh, Coach, as we go uh, into this, this conference uh, season here, you're really concerned about your rebounding. Uh, and, you know, I saw a lot of plays at the Dayton game where Jarvis had his hands on the ball but couldn't bring it in. You know, you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of Tony Easley. And he figured that out and became a great rebounder. Jarvis, I think, is already a great rebounder. It's just that sometimes he gets pushed off maybe a little bit from where he thinks it's coming down. Yeah, strength. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, not the ability to, you know, to lasso it in there, uh -huh. so to speak. But we've got to figure out a way to rebound better. But it's got to be more than just a couple you guys. Know, but it can't just be Jarvis. You yeah. can't go on the road and get out rebounded 20. Yeah. That's that's that that's not very good at all. Uh, and anybody can tell you that. Uh, and I won't use, you know, superlatives to yeah. explain it. That's just yeah. not very good. But uh, you know, we've you know, if we're gonna play small, our guards got to help rebound. And then, you know, obviously a point of ho emphasis is we've got to bring rebounding into the program. You know, and uh, we need to do that with with a couple guys. Okay. Well, the the racers are going into this week. Uh, with a couple of big games. Let's take a look at the schedule ahead and uh, then next week uh, the racers go to Eastern Kentucky for their only game with the Colonels this season. Uh, the Colonels don't come to Murray this year but Murray State doesn't go to Moorhead either so that's the way the, the East and the West is working out. Uh, that game will be on Racer TV and also ESPN3 and then a week from Saturday January 11th the racers come home to take on Austin P. That'll be a men's women's double header with the racers playing at about 7.30 and that game will be on uh, the OVC Digital Network. So coach, right now as, as we sit here today on a Monday, you guys are going back to work and, and getting ready for Thursday night. Yeah, we'll have a lift session today, a split lift session, two different groups and we'll get them in and we'll have a longer uh, film session to review the Dayton game and then we'll get them in here and we'll go uh, twice Tuesday and twice Wednesday. Uh, and when I say twice, not two a day, so to speak, but uh, basically a lot of 5 on 0 and a lot mm -hmm. of shooting in the mornings and then come back and and have a spirited practice in the afternoons and put two days of good preparation in for SEMO because uh, we're going to need it and we're going to need great support from our crowd and, and from Race Nation to get out here and, and give us a terrific environment. Okay, Coach, good luck this week, okay? Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Head Coach Steve Prohm, and we appreciate you joining us here on this abbreviated version of the Racer Report uh, for this week because of the way the travel schedule worked out. We'll see you next time on the Racer Report.